I think this might be the last day of having caterpillars. Little floaty bits in the bottom of my tea, that is yucky. Hello and welcome back to another one of our Home Education Journey UK videos. The children have been playing in the garden, but we're now about to start our structured learning this morning and we thought we'd bring you guys along with us. Today's pile of work set out ready for the children to choose what order they do it in. Alfie, he's starting with his maths, aren't you, darling? Mm -hmm. Choosing maths first. My math page. And Alfie, what has just happened in maths? Got a new book. You've gone up the next level, haven't you? Yeah. High five me. Great work. It's always super exciting when we move up to the next level, isn't I'll, it? I'll just catch up in maths. Yeah. Me. Millie's about to start her maths. And Teddy, so what are you going to do? Math first. Maths first. Everyone's starting with math. To use a ruler, place the zero centimetres end of the ruler. Make sure the object lines up with the ruler and use your hand to hold it in place. Read the number that it li lines up with it. The, the other end of the object, you get to measurement. You get your measurement. Well done, high five me. That was super reading. Great job, Shiki. So Millie has been working on fractions for quite a while and she's just started a new topic in her math book, measurement. And now she's going on a hunt to try and find all of these things so that we can measure them together. So what are you doing in your maths book today, Alfie? Um, I'm basically doing counting in sixes, sevens and nines. Number and place value. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Millie has got all of her bits and now she's going to start measuring, aren't you, darling? Yes. Yeah? So if you grab that, pull it out and make it quite long and then push, not that long, yet, that long. just look at how long the things you're going to, and then push it down so it doesn't move. That's it. Okay. And then you can leave that here. So you've got to remember it said where you need to start one end and then the centimetres are along the bottom, darling, yeah? Okay. So no, you need zero. to place it at the end, yeah? Zero's by the silver bit. And then you want to lie it flat against it and see which centimetre it comes near. Um, nine. Nine it does, but what nine is it? Is it a little nine or are there some tens, look? Ten. 20, uh, 29. Well done, good girl. So you can write that one in, thir uh, in, in first. 29. Good girl, see if you can do the next one. Okay. Spoon, spoon. Teddy beans, what are you up to today? Excuse the washing pile, I'm in the middle of doing some laundry there. What are you up to, chicken? So Teddy, he was going to do decimal and fractions, but I'm not 100% sure on what I'm helping him with. So we're going to... Leave that until Daddy can help you tomorrow or the next day and we're going to do measuring which works quite well because it's the same as what Millie's doing anyway, isn't it? So you're going to measure some things and convert them from centimetres into metres, aren't you, Daddy? I think mine's a bit more complicated than Mills. Well, well, it will be, just yeah. has to write down the centimetres. Yeah, it will be because you're at a different level, are you? aren't you? Right. Happy days. You know what you're doing? I get bunny there. So Millie has just finished her maths book work and we're now on to her English, straight into it, and we're doing it, oh, what are we doing? Spellings. If a word has more than a syllable, syllable, and, syllable and a consonant, consonant, consonant before, um, Y, a Y at the end of the word, you drop the Y and add an I. For example, Melly, Mary becomes merriment. Well done. What are you doing? You're making the table. Mm. Do you want a hand? Ooh, long arms. That's it. What's it say, Ted? 150 centimetres. Well done. You've got to change that into, meter, into metres. Spider-Man. That's 1.5. Well done. Day 14. Yeah. And we have it's one at the bottom. Meters. That's just turning, it's wiggling now, but it's just turning into a cocoon. It's doing it on the, the floor though. I think it's all as well. Hasn't found its way to the ceiling like this one. Oh, well, it's torn the ceiling, I wonder if like one's Yeah, this off. one's hanging, no, this one's hanging ready now, so it will turn soon. Yeah, two of them are. And then there's four on the floor. Oh yeah, there's two hanging now. And then, this one's trampling his friend. If, if you go there, I won't take it. So that's it, I think this might be the last day of having caterpillars. What are you doing in your caterpillar right, book? So Butterfly word search. Oh my goodness, you've found loads. I've been outside to help Ted measure the house for his maths and you've done all of that. That is super, isn't it? Which one are you looking for now? Lava. Lava. Lava? Mm -hmm. How do you unlock the lava? It's a different sort of lava, it's not lava from a volcano. No, I mean like a lava like a bug. Yeah. Yeah, how's she gonna find that?
What are we doing now, Miss? Turkey box. Turkey box. Have a look in there and see which one you want to do. Look how much you've done. What are you making, chicken? Greenhouse. A greenhouse? You've done loads of that. You've done all that yourself. I find the toucan box is really good. Some of them need more adult supervision than others. And this one, Millie's done all that all by herself. So we're soaking, soaking the soil, aren't we, Millie? Yeah. After it says leave it for five to ten minutes. So whilst we're waiting for that, do you want to stick your men onto here? And then you can decorate your greenhouse with all these cute little stickers. Look, look at the little spiders. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, which look. one's which? How quick they're expanding! The five to ten minutes it says. Wow, but look! I think it'll be quicker than five to ten minutes. <laughs> oh, that's all. Awesome. Wow! It's like all like. It's disgusting. It looks like tea bags. <laughs> it does a bit. One that splits. Mummy hates that. When I have a cup of tea and my tea bag splits and I've got all those little floaty bits in the bottom of my tea, that is yucky. Oh, that's amazing. That doesn't take very long. No. Um, so I think, so it goes like this, I don't know which one goes on which, are they all the same shape? Do they look the same shape? Yeah. They go like that. Oh, they do. <laughs> they all look like the same shape. No, they're slightly different, aren't they? So that one's got like the stick, so I think that one, what do you think that one? Oh, I think so, good girl. And then, uh, look at me, got <laughs> Yeah. Sword. Uh. Right, are you done? Is that all you want to put on there? Yes. So now you need to choose which little man is going to have the parsley and which one's going to have the, what's that one? Basil. Basil. And which one's going to have chives? chives. So who's going to have who? I think this, this one decision. is basil. Well done. This one is chives. And this one is past. Great. having fun with the remaining little bits of mud aren't you in there what have you made soup soup what mud flavor mud mud no, soup no, no, not mud definitely chocolate not, Cho not mud <laughs> chocolate soup it's definitely not poisonous what are you doing boys hi Ooh, similar to millie what mud and bloom have you chosen to do? Because you've got a few activists, haven't you? Yeah, so we're sowing beetroot, and we're probably going to keep them in these cups. And then we've also got Chinese asters. I'm more excited to do the beetroots. I don't know how big beetroot seeds are. See, they're pretty decent sized. <gasps> um, it says leave them for 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. You're about as impatient as Millie. Millie was whipping hers up after a couple of minutes as well. Teddy. What are those? It's beetroot seeds. Oh, they look unusual. Yes, just put like two in each one. So. Ooh. So it is now quarter past twelve. So for about two hours now, we've been sitting and doing some structured learning and activities. <laughs> some structured learning and activities. We're going to tidy up when she's finished playing with the soup. The boys are just doing their mud and blooms, and then the only other thing they've got to do is a um, crossword from out of this week's junior. So the boys are going to do those two things. I'm going to clean up, and then I'm going to get some lunch i'm gonna end this vlog here as i said it's just coming up to half past 12. oh we've had a productive morning i hope you've all enjoyed watching our structured morning we are hoping to go to the children's farm this afternoon now that restrictions have been lifted a little bit more <laughs> so as always thank you for watching and we'll see you all really soon for another one of our home education journey uk bye, videos bye say bye, bye. alfie say bye bye, bye. Teddy, do you want to say bye? Bye. Do you want some soup? Baby's coming, look. Look. Feed them. Oh, look. Hello. Hello.